I tell people on a forgiveness journey, the reason that so many people have a hard time with their forgiveness is because they think it's one and done. They think, oh, I forgave that person, I can now move on. Well, no, in reality, Forgiveness is like a 12-step program. You constantly have to go back and revisit it. And my hope for this book is that people use it, not just once and put it on a bookshelf, but that they continue to use it, even on a daily basis. The title of my book is Walk Through This, and the reason I love this title is because in order to heal anything, you have to feel everything. And so you have to walk through your experiences and your pains, and you actually have to embrace everything around you, which got you to where you are at this moment. Nature played a huge role in my healing process. When I was at the depths and the core of my trauma, I would grab my stand-up paddleboard and go four miles out to sea, and I literally would paddle with whales. I would look in the eye of a whale. I would connect with Mother Nature in a different way that you can't do anywhere else. I paddled with dolphins. I got lost in fog. They brought me back into the harbor. I would hike the Grand Canyon and go deep and into the Grand Canyon and just sit there and feel the spirits around me. And it made me realize that I'm not alone. I'm not alone in this world. I'm not alone in my traumas. I'm not defined by any of that. And it literally allowed me to find the clarity into who I am. The cool thing about this book is that, yes, it's a personal development book, but it's also a memoir brought in. So you hear from my own personal experiences and stories from when I was 17 all the way up to today at 46, because even at 46, I am still learning and growing and healing. It also brings in client experiences from the trail, from when I was their guide through the Grand Canyon. You will hear from them their actual words talking about how they actually experienced the Grand Canyon and their own healing journey beside me. When I first started going through my trauma recovery, there were three words that I always went back to. Truth, always tell your truth. Inspiration, lead an inspired day every day. And hope, hope for the best and hope for the life that you ultimately want and deserve. And the readers of my book, I hope, my hope for them, is that they feel those three words through this book, that they can find their truth, speak it, feel inspired, and have hope for their own future.